Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this one's a little bit more positive. I am back with a smile on my face. Uh, I went over to Rite Aid and uh, an associate was very helpful to um, help me with my situation with the return on those items. Um, <clears throat> I gave her my receipt and she was there actually yesterday and really picked up on what was going on and how it should have been handled. She's been there um, a long time. I would say as long as I've ever been shopping there, she's always been there. Uh, so she was able to look into it a little further and realize there is a problem with their system and how it's accepting returns. So just be cautious of that, guys. If you're returning anything, um, I would say try to avoid returning anything if possible and just exchange it um, is what we kind of figured out through that process. But I ended up getting my half off of each item back, um, which was great. That's what I was looking for in the beginning. And um, I didn't contact customer service because <clears throat> yesterday um, she told me if I just wanted to come on in, she would um, help me out um, when she was going to be in, you know, today. So that all got worked out. Um, everybody was really great. My associates that are normally there were there and um, just were very apologetic for the whole situation and assured me that it shouldn't have happened and that, you know, hopefully it won't happen again. So, um, yeah, you know, those one associates that have their own way of doing things can really make it difficult for us as shoppers, you know, and especially if we're doing things the right way, we're not trying to get over, we're not trying to be those difficult couponers, which I've strived to never be. Um, I've always taken great pride in, you know, creating relationships with my associates that are in the store. You know, I see them all the time. I'm in there all the time. Um, I like to be friendly with them and, you know, I don't want to ever cause any issues or have them do anything they're not supposed to. I'm totally against that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my recovery <laughs> message. I'm just so glad that um, I'm feeling a lot better about it and kind of learning the new system and what's going on. I did a lot of your comments uh, did assure me that the low to card coupons are in fact working. Um, they're just not attaching on the app. Um, while I was in the store, the app was completely down. So I'm really hoping they're getting the work done in there and you know fixing it up for us so it's a lot more easier to use um that's my hope so because i was confident that the loaded card coupons would work i did previously clip them so i knew they were on there i wasn't able to check like i said the app was down and i couldn't even log in online on you know through the internet so i just um went on ahead and took my chance so um, I have it written down for you guys here and I'll just go over how you can get 49 cent uh, tubes of toothpaste probably even less if you have the purchase base coupons to use with that so <clears throat> you're gonna get two at $4.99 they're on sale this week so make sure you grab the ones that are on sale they should be tagged in the store uh, mine didn't even have a tag that said $4.99 it just said dollar a dollar back in bonus cash when you purchase this item. Um, then it, you want to use two of these Rite Aid in ad coupons that you will find in the ad. And just keep in mind, it is one per customer, but most um, associates and the register will take um, up to four at one time. But for this one, you're just going to use two. And we're going to, that's going to take $4 off. And then that load to card coupon is a three off of two. You're going to take that off and that's going to leave you to pay $2.98. Okay, and then you'll get $2 back in bonus cash. So it's a dollar back on each with a limit of two times. So you can only do that two times per account. After that bonus cash back, that's two for $0.98. Cents. Awesome deal there. So if you guys want to go ahead and start um, building up your stockpile, that would be a great way to start. And the other thing is... And here's the other deal that I was talking about with the load to card coupons. If you wanted to um, get these twin packs of Crest and a twin pack of the Oral B toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, sorry, um, they are a part of this buy one get one fifty percent off. And then when you spend fourteen, you'll get seven dollars in bonus cash. 
The load of card coupons are, um, let's see if I can actually show them to you. These are the load of card coupons. It's $2 off of the Oral-B manual toothbrushes and $2 off the Crest toothpaste. Um, so you could use those and take $4 off. So what I was looking at with the buy one get one 50% off if I was to purchase um, items for about $9.99 each. I'll pay four, it'll come out to $14.98. Then the load of card coupons will come off. So it'll be $10.98. Then I'll get the $7 back. So $3.98 for all of these products. So that's two tubes of toothpaste and two Oral B um, toothbrushes. Uh, so if you want to incorporate that in one of your, uh, with your purchase base coupons, that would make it even lower, of course. Um, so you would just, you know, take, keep in, keep in mind or take in consideration that you're using low to card coupons. So it will take $4 off. Just remember if you're using those purchase base coupons, um, deduct the $4 in low to card coupons and that will be your total towards that purchase. So yeah, good deal. Something I noticed after um, I had purchased the Blue Diamond Almonds is you can actually use this dollar off load to card coupon if you get two of the almonds. I really was focused on the pistachios, but um, yeah, if you want to make your out of pocket even lower, use this dollar off of two. Here it is written out for you guys. So you're going to get one of the Crest Twin Packs at $9.99 or more. If you can't find one for $9.99 in your store, you'll just have to adjust your total um or oh and then get an oral b multi-pack at 9.99 one of those will be half off for 4.99 you'll use two of those two dollar load of card coupons taking off four dollars leaving you to pay 10.98 out of pocket you'll get back seven dollars in bonus cash because you did spend over 14 before coupons and you will receive um, the seven dollars back and leaving the total to be $3.98 after bonus cash. Awesome deal. And then, of course, if you have your purchase base coupons, do not forget to get your total over that um, threshold and use that to make this even better. I did notice on Ibotta there was a rebate back for some crest. Um, you may want to see if any of the twin packs qualify for that. Just scan and check it. Um, I'm not too sure, but if it does, that's even better. Here's the Huggies deal that I was telling you guys about. So I had to go online to find it. It was not in the ad in the store. So they're on sale for $10.99. We have a $2.50 off load of card coupon. And then also Ibotta is giving back a dollar back on just the uh, Snug and Dry. So um, I thought I had saw it was $2 the other day. I don't know if that if that was that changed or maybe I was seeing things. So it is a dollar back on that. So if you are looking for a diaper deal to use this week, you can do that. And don't forget to um, scan it over to fetch because there is um, that great deal going on $50 on Kimberly Clark products which these are Kimberly Clark um, when for the month of April if you get over 50 you'll get $15 in points so really awesome deal and if you do not use Ibotta um, I really suggest using that because they also have a really great bonus um, right now I'm working on a for the month of April, they're giving me $25 when I redeem 50 rebates. So, and that's even small rebates. Um, so yeah, this will count towards one of them. I'm already half, about halfway through and it's only the fifth. So, um, they're giving me till the end of April to reach 50 and then I get 25 back. So pretty awesome deal and then there's some weekly challenges as well or weekly bonuses I should say um that you can stack with that throughout the month that come up like they'll have weekend warriors and things like that so uh yeah since I've had Ibotta I've already like earned almost two thousand dollars something like that and yeah so you do earn a lot of money back on those um there, I always leave the referral code down in the description if you want to get started 
I do have the ad for next week. My wonderful associates um, provided me with the ad. So on the next video, I am going to do an ad um, preview. I hope to get that up right after this one. So um, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. If you're interested in, you know, getting deals at Rite Aid and some other things that I share here and there, I want to get started on a lot more other ones as well. So look, uh, look forward to that. Um, yeah, so I'll go over this on the next one. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through even my frustrations. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. It's very helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.